Hey guys, Craig Gentry here, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing Vachon's Japanese barbecue sauce style wings on the Masterbuilt Gravity Series 800. If you're like me and you follow a bunch of foodie accounts on Instagram, you've probably seen this sauce blowing it up the last couple of years. This is Vachon's Japanese barbecue sauce. I saw a meat church video where they smoked and grilled some wings using this sauce. So I've been kind of dabbling with that recipe and tweaking it, making it my own. So I've got it ready finally to share with you guys and you've got to try these wings. They're fantastic, they're super easy. Um, so today we're gonna start off with the marinade and the prep and tomorrow we're gonna cook them on the Masterbook Gravity Series 800. We're gonna get started with some regular old grocery store wings, nothing special here. These were on sale, so I picked these up. I usually get the full wings. I think these are already sectioned off. I'm gonna use this Bachon's Japanese sauce as a marinade in the first step. Now for the marinade, I'm gonna use my vac sealer. You don't have to do this step. You can just use a regular Ziploc bag or whatever else you have around the house. Now what the vac sealer does is speed up the marinade process because it kind of pushes the seasoning and the marinade into the meat. Um, so it's, it's not necessary, but since I have it, I might as well use it. So I'm gonna bag these up. I've got two different sauces here I'm gonna use as marinade. So I'm gonna put these in two different bags. And uh, I've not tried this hot and spicy flavor yet. So I'm really looking forward to that. Alrighty, I got my wings vac sealed up. I'm gonna put these back in the fridge to marinate for a few hours. All right, and here we are eight hours later. These have been sitting in the fridge and they're little marinated packs here. Now this sauce doesn't have a whole lot of salt in it. So I'm gonna use salt as a little bit of a flavor enhancer. Plus it'll also help dry out this skin and help the skin crisp up when I'm cooking it. So that's our next step. We're gonna get the wings out of the marinade bags onto a rack, salt them, and put them back in the fridge uh, overnight. All right, these are salted up. They're gonna go back in the fridge overnight and we'll cook these for lunch tomorrow. Now I'll let these sit overnight in the refrigerator to dry out and here's what they look like now. This step will really help crisp up the skin later on whenever we grill these. But right now, I'm gonna put these on the smoker. I've got the smoke rolling here at 225. We're gonna smoke these for about an hour. All right, these ended up smoking for an hour and a half before they hit the temperature that I wanted. They're probing at about 185. They're considered done. You can eat them right now if you want to, um, but I'm not quite done yet. I wanna crisp up the skin really nice. And the good thing about the Masterbuilt Gravity Series, with the digital controller, I can just crank the heat up to 500 and we can be at grilling temperature in about one minute. So that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, I'm gonna let these cool down for just a few minutes. Uh, while this is getting ripping hot, I want the grill grates on here to be really hot. So as soon as these wings hit it, they start frying that skin up really quick. Okay, I got the smoker up to grilling temperature, so it's time to put these wings on the grill and crisp up the skin. Make sure you give these bad boys a couple of test clicks.
part really shouldn't take very long. These are almost done. Give them about 30 more seconds and they will be charred up real nice and ready to eat. You wanna keep them moving around while you're grilling them. You don't want them to sit in any one spot for too very long. There you have it guys. These are super easy to throw together. Hard work is done. Now it's time to eat. I'm starving. I can't wait to try these out. Sure let them cool down longer. That is super hot. Very tender. They fall off the bone. Look at that. Plenty of smoke flavor. You know chicken wings you only don't smoke them for that long of an amount of time so it's hard to get a lot of smoke flavor. But I used oak, tastes great on these wings. This Japanese barbecue sauce is fantastic. It works great as a marinade. Man, those are good. Okay, now I haven't got to try this hot and spicy flavor yet. I'm really looking forward to it. Definitely not too spicy if you're concerned about that. This is kind of a little bit of, a, of an after heat. These wings are a must. You have to try these. These are super easy, super good. You've got to give this Bichon's Japanese barbecue sauce to try. I'll put a link down in the description below. Thank you so much for joining me on this video and I'll see you next time.